Hello everyone, uh, my name is Sebastian. Uh, I am the Vice President of uh, 3D and Immersive here at Adobe. I uh, wanted to welcome you all to this uh, Substance Days in Seoul, Korea. Uh, I wish I was with you today, I could not attend, but I have very fond memories of my trips to Korea and Seoul and spending the days with everybody attending the Substance Days in Seoul. And um, I, I'm certain you will, you will find that day very useful and very inspiring and uh, you're in good hands with uh, um, Adobe Korea and Christian you know and uh, the whole team uh, in, in Seoul right now. So I wanted to welcome you but also talk about a little bit of what's going on in the world of uh, substance and what we're doing at Adobe when it comes to 3D and immersive. Um, first I'd like to mention something we've been working on a lot. Uh, it's been announced a few weeks ago and Adobe is a proud partner uh, in, this, uh, in this alliance, which uh, has the objective of uh, bringing USD to the world as a potential standard for data exchange, 3D data exchange. It's always been like very complicated to exchange, read, write correctly 3D files. With uh, USD, we feel we, we're at a point where there is an opportunity for, for such a standard to emerge and so this is why we participated in this alliance with a lot of uh, other companies like Pixar, Autodesk, Nvidia, and in building this alliance and uh, to make sure that we uh, standardize uh, USD uh, everywhere. So this is, um, this is a very important point also for you to mention Apple. Apple is part of the alliance and this is a, this is a big, a very big important part of, uh, of this, uh, of this uh, working group and uh, that of the potential success for, for, for USD. So very, we're very bullish on the USD and we are pushing, we're pushing it right now. So uh, this is an example of a demo that we produced uh, that we showed at Seagraph a few months back. Uh, it's called the end of summer demo. And, and you see that all the tools that have been used to produce that demo, the USD file format has been very important to uh, share the, the work of everybody and have multiple people work on the same assets at the same time and then go from Substance Painter to uh, NVIDIA Omniverse to uh, Unreal Engine and back to the to the world of uh, Adobe with After Effects. But so it's it's a very important like a standard that we that we're pushing right now. So this is a very important effort that we're doing at Adobe. Uh, not only the 3D tools that are in green here, but also Illustrator, After Effects will make sure that USD can be read uh, by all these tools uh, in, the, in the near future or can be produced uh, by these tools in the near future from Illustrator. You see the arrow goes in one direction from Illustrator to USD. That means that you can produce USD file uh, from within Illustrator. Also, we've been working to work on a standard like PBR, material definition, and we call that Open PBR. So it's open source on GitHub, available to everyone, and it allows for uh, all uh, renderers adopting OpenPBR to, to visualize and to render assets in the same exact way they've been produced uh, in, say, a Substance Painter tool, so that you, 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 you ensure consistency in what you see right? between Substance Painter and, let's say, a new, another renderer in uh, Autodesk, uh, which is a, a big partner of ours on OpenPBR. A few things that we that we produced lately, uh, Substance 3D Assets. We keep producing a lot of predefined content that is uh, incredible, of incredible value, incredible quality. We released uh, several uh, collections. That's a, an example here of a graphic design collection. So when you want to integrate that into uh, any graphic design uh, workflow, uh, it's a wonderful set of uh, predefined uh, objects, materials, and, uh, and environments uh, that can be super helpful. Um, we also have this uh, incredible music instruments collection that is really, really uh, something, really beautiful. I strongly invite you to, uh, to check it out. And uh, you can find uh, all the instruments, but also cassettes and, uh, and headsets and, um, and uh, speakers and, and cables uh, on top of uh, all the uh, violins and, and, and guitars you can find in, in this image, for instance. We also continue the, the production of scans. So we basically have a full pipeline that allows for our team now to go outside and, 
and capture uh, real life textures and uh, without uh, having to recreate them in a, in a procedural way. It's, uh, this is here a way to capture uh, the information uh, from the real world. And uh, as you can see here, the quality level is exceptional. Uh, this is the most beautiful scan library I can, I can, I can think of, uh, one of the most beautiful. There, there are a few out there, but this is really uh, crisp and, and high quality and ready to use in any, any production scenario. So that's the word of uh, the Substance 3D assets. We also uh, keep working on, of course, on our one of our flagship products, uh, Substance 3D Designer. And you see here an example of a rendering that has like take, taken advantage of some of the latest features you can find in Substance Designer, especially the uh, the curve nodes that you can see in action here. So basically, drive drawing curves and controlling these curves. Uh, inside uh, Substance Designer has never been so easy. And now with this tool, you can create really wonderful patterns and add some uh, very rich information to your, to your materials. So uh, Substance Designer, more than ever, is the number one tool when it comes to uh, the creation of uh, uh, parametric materials, digital materials overall. Also, we made um, a lot of progress on Substance 3D Sampler. And in particular, the, the, the 4.2 version introduced a new image to material that is AI-based way of creating from one image a full PBR material that is really, really producing amazing quality. I will show it just after. We also have this AI upscale. You can see examples of, like at the bottom of that image, um, of that illustration here, you, you see from very, very little information, you can get to a point where Actually, you can create very uh, defined materials, which uh, which is very uh, very handy. This is uh, the, the example you, you see on the left every time the image input, and what that uh, translates to into in terms of material on the right. So several examples here from one image, you get the full PBR material on the right automatically uh, using AI that an AI that we tra trained uh, at Adobe, which is which is exceptional. We also kept working obviously on our uh, flagship product substance uh, 3d painter by 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 far uh, the most uh, used uh, painting uh, application 3d painting application on, on the market and a uh, recent update a very very important update we we added this path tool that allows you to do exactly what is on on display here like stitches uh welding uh, information and you have this level of control in 3d onto your object that is that is uh, uh, fairly unique, in fact. So uh, we not only have new content and, and dynamic strokes, but really the path tool is something that we see used in all industries, from game development to VFX to industrial design. Let's say you're designing a shoe, you can imagine how designing fa fashion apparel uh, and shoes can be, uh, uh, can use that tool, which is uh, very beneficial in the type of uh, uh, design you want to, to, to produce there. Also, we, we, we work on uh, Substance 3D Barber, which is fairly a uh, new product still, but very powerful and very efficient at what it does, which is sculpting and creating shapes and creating uh, objects in on desktop or in VR. And uh, the latest um, uh, version of Substance uh, Modder added a, a lot of uh, new features and you can see here a list of such features like yeah, reference images in VR that you can see on the bottom here. Basically, you, you're, when you're sculpting, you can import images that are references. And, and, and if you, even if you're in VR, you don't have to get rid of the headset. You're actually with your references while you uh, sculpt. We uh, worked on the export uh, and import as well. Uh, there are more uh, controls, like uh, the, the one just behind me, like the behind my image. Uh, the, the big um, shell, the big, uh, you see the quads uh, are coming from the export mode that is actually very, very uh, beautiful and very uh, optimized. Uh, you can use a Wacom multi-touch also if you're not using VR, but you're on a tablet. It's, uh, it's very, uh, very efficient. And we have a in viewport uh, HBAO. So you see on the, 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 the right, the top right here, which uh, brings lots of depth. Uh, to uh, to the image. So that's an example of the animation here. I wanted to mention. So this is for 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 the for the, for the product. So so I've talked about Alliance for Open USD, Open PBR. We really want to participate in making the world of three D 
uh, more accessible, more data to flow more easily. So we've been working on these uh, standards a, a lot. We've been working on our, our products and our products keep like, being very, very successful in the world of uh, 3D and uh, for, for designers out there. And uh, you've seen uh, improvements in the, the libraries, the 3D assets. So you've seen improvements in Substance Designer with a curve node. Uh, you've seen uh, improvement in Substance Sampler uh, with the uh, image to material, for instance. You've seen um, uh, improvements in Substance Painter with the path tool in 3D. You've seen improvement in, in Modder with everything I've mentioned, and especially the export and uh, the ease of uh, uh, going from your creation to a uh, full production ready uh, asset. I want to talk about now one example of uh, one of our clients in the world, not, not computer graphics, I mean, not video games, not visual effects, but industrial design. Decathlon is one of the biggest um, design companies in the world. It's a French company uh, designing uh, sports goods. And you have an example here of that like ski uh, suit that has been designed entirely digitally. And so what we've seen with Decathlon is that they integrated digital ways of designing objects and integrating 3D in that digitalization. As well, and so when they want to integrate 3D, naturally they, they use they use Substance because it's one of the most proficient tool on on the uh, games uh, and visual effects market. But industrial design, they see the same thing. They they want to use the same type of uh, the best tools for the job, right? So a few sh few numbers I wanted to share here. Uh, what what is amazing to see is that since adopting digital ways of creating, I've seen a 33% reduced product, a reduction in product development time on apparel and bags, which is, which is huge, which is huge. Like you, you spend a third less time on producing something. And also like it's even more so for footwear, like 66 production in a number of footwear prototypes. You, you, have, you, don't, you don't need that many prototypes, like actual physical prototypes. And that's very important also when it comes to sustainability, obviously. You don't have to produce something physically, ship it from one country to the other. And, and, and the, the, the carbon footprint of that is, is huge, obviously. Digitally, it's way, 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 way smaller. And so also, this is 60 times more efficient and, and you have more iterations on CMF. CMF means color, material, and finish. So basically, when you make decisions on materials and design, and, and colors, uh, you can get 60 times more using digital tools and tools like Substance Painter in particular and Designer. So this is the pipeline they use. So this is one and two. First, they use Sampler to scan and create material digital, digital twins of actual material that they, they use in real life. Then they use Clo. Clo is a, a Korea-based company doing this uh, amazing tool set Clo and Marvelous Designer. And uh, Clo 3D basically is this tool that lets you create garments and, and, and fashion. Uh, and so they have now, Clo has a, a natural um, uh, native, sorry, substance integration. So it means that when we create a substance file from sampler or designer, you can read it directly inside of Clo and this applied on the, on the design here. And then you use, they use uh, Painter to create, to, um, to do to to go one more step and in the in the in the in the painting and the in the design of the object and of, of the, the, the colors and materials then you use stager to create beautiful imagery images that i will show you uh final render in blender and post-processing in photoshop and they used uh, firefly in photoshop actually to to add a few things here and there this is their digital library of um, fabrics that is scanned in that case applied on a, a, a trousers, pair of trousers here. Uh, and, and all these images are virtual images of the product. So to take decisions to iterate uh, using a tool set, like a digital, digital tool set from uh, sampler to Clo to painter to uh, stager to uh, uh, then blender and or whatever use you, to tool you use to Photoshop uh, you have everything you need to to create these type of images and you save that much time and iterate, you can create more iterations so you get to a better result faster. What not to like. 
So um, again, you're in good hands with the, the team, and uh, I, I wish you a, a wonderful day, and uh, and uh, see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.